What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use the MQ message queue of uh, Linux and the POSIX library. So this is very useful and the queue is just a, a system a system queue in which you can send messages. It is very useful because you don't have to, I don't know, send it with signals or whatever. You can send directly a message to a process using the POSIX, uh, POSIX library. So in order to do this, what I recommend you first doing is uh, using the command man and then using MQ overview. By the way, I don't know why this is not working in the Windows subsystem and this is why I'm today in, in Linux. So here you come to the terminal and you put MQ overview and you have here all the information that you need. POSIX message queue allows a process. Yeah, you are, you have all the information that you need here and you can check all that. But let's make the things more simple and let's see how to create in a very easy way a queue, an MQ queue. So in order to do this, first, we need to know that we have two parts. First, the process that is going to send something and then the process that is going to receive something. So for example, now we are going to start with the process that is going to send something. And what is that something that we are going to send? We are going to send a structure, and in this case, I call the structure mensaje, which in English is message. So this message is what we are going to send. And here you can put whatever you want. So for example, here I put it a, char a string of 80 characters, but you can put a lot of things like an integer, a double, whatever you need. So once you have the something that you are going to send, which is the message, you have to declare some attributes. So for example, in order to declare, declare those attributes for the queue, you have to use this structure. But by the way, I forgot to tell you the libraries that you have to use. So for example, if we use man mq open, here we have the three libraries that we need to use. So the most important libraries to use this, let me order this so you don't, uh, yeah. So now we have to use uh, these three libraries and these other three are for just yes, handling things. But in order to use the MQ uh, POSIX library, you just have to import these libraries. So once you have that imported, you are going to be able to use the MQ open and declare the um, structure that we were talking about. So in this structure in which we were talking about, uh, you have to set uh, some variables. So for example, you have to set the flags. I always set it to zero. You have to set the number of maximum messages in the queue, which in this case are going to be 10. And then uh, I think I don't remember what is this, but if you check the, the documentation, you're going to see that. And here you have to put the size of the message. And it, it is as simple as, as using the size of function with the structure. So you do that and you have now declared the attributes of your queue, of your message queue, MQQ. So once you've done that, you have to use the MQ open. And this is very similar to the named uh, semaphores. But here you have to give it a name and remember always to put this character. So you declare this name, which has to be the same in the sender and the receptor. Remember that it has to be the same. And yeah, the first argument of this function is that the second argument, let's see the man of MQ, you can see that are those bit flags, which are like, for example, if it is not open, you are going to create it and this is only going to be right. And the, I think this is uh, for the permission, etc. So the second argument you put here or create an outright only. And it means that if it is not created, it will create it. And then here with this, this process will be only allowed to write on the queue. After that, you have here to put the, the direction of the attributes that you established. So after this, you already have the queue working. You would have to do some uh, error handling, but yeah, I won't do that here. So once you have this, how do we use this? How do we send a message to the queue? That I remember the queue is very useful because if this process dies, the queue is still there and you can still take the messages. So what you have to do is to first use the well MQ uh, open and then set a message. So for example, let's set a message which is going to be uh, we are going to send a message. 
So this is going to be the message that we are going to send. And then we have to use the function uh, mqsend. So it is very simple because you just have to put here the queue that you want to use. Then the message that remember is the structure, not only the string. So for example, here we declare the structure and we copied the message in the attribute msg. msg. So we did that. So for example, let me put this in a very, in a different name. So for example, message, well, struct to send. Let's call it like this so it is more clear. And yeah, we have to change this. And that's it. So now we are going to send this structure which has this message. And yeah, you, uh, you just have to, to do this cast and put here the direction of the structure. Then you also have to set the size of the structure that you are going to send. And finally, this is the priority. So for example, I'm not very sure if that is the priority. So for that, we are going to put here mqsend, man mqsend. And here you can see that, yeah, it is the priority that you want to give to the message. So once we've done this here, I'm just putting the, yeah, like press anything to stop. We close it and then we unlink it. And if I'm not wrong, Whenever you close the MQ, it is not going to be destroyed. But if you unlink it, it is going to be destroyed when all the processes that are using it uh, close the, the, the queue. So, for example, if you unlink the queue, but there's still a process with that queue open, it won't be destroyed. But once that process destroys, uh, well, closes that uh, MQ and that queue, it is going to be destroyed. So. Let's go now to the receptor, which is very, very similar. So here we have to set the same structure, the same structure. So for that, it would be better to define a .h file in which you put this structure. And here you have to set again these same attributes. For that, it will be better to put that in a common h, uh, .h file. Once you have that, you have to use uh, the MQ open again. But in this case, you use again the name, which has to be the same. And then you have to put here that, okay, we are going to create that, but in this case is read only. Like if you want, you can put here that it is going to write as well. Like you can put here write and read in both cases, but I don't know, I want it to be consistent and the receptor can only read. Another thing here is that we can put this, uh, this queue to be non-block, like to not block the process. This means that, for example, whenever you use, well, whenever you call this function, the MQ receive, and you haven't received a message, the process won't be stopped here. But if you remove this, the process will be stopped here until it receives a message. So the next arguments are the same, basically this for the permissions and then for the attributes. Then you declare a message, a structure, let's call this a struct uh, to receive, for example receive, you create this structure in which you are going to receive the, the message. And yeah, it is as simple as that. That's everything. You call MQ, you put here the queue, you put here the structure in which you are going to save whatever you receive in the queue. And then here you put the size of, the, of that structure. So uh, now we are printing and that's it. So let's compile. Let's compile and let's see how does this work. So for example, we put this. Oh, wow, I forgot to tell you. In order to use this library, you have to do something which is, uh, let me do this bigger and put this. Uh, well, now it's not <laughs> very visible, but you what, ha what you have to do is to use the minus LRT. So if you use this, it won't give you any issues when you compile the program. And remember, in the lin in the Windows subsystem, it didn't work for me. So just for you to know that. So once we've done that, we have to do that the, for the other process. So for example, we are going to do that for the sender, sender, sender.c. Again, I forgot to put here minus LRT. And here, what we are going to put is that we are going to start the sender and it's saying press any key to finish because the process has already sent the message to the queue. And here we are going to call the receptor. So you can see the receptor has been called and now it's stopped here in the get char function. But you can see that it's very cool because it printed the message 
which was in the other process. And as you can see, well, everything worked fine and that's it. But let's try this again with the non-block. So for example, if we remove now and we compile again, what we can do is that we can start by calling the receptor and it will get blocked here and now we can call the sender. So once we call the sender, as you can see, uh, the process of the receptor was uh, unblocked and now it is blocked in this get char function that doesn't have anything to do with the queue. So that's very useful because as you can see, you can block or unblock the process, etc. So that was everything for the MQ POSIX library and how to use this queue. It is very useful and very fun. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Ay.